Good morning, people. Uh, I'm back. I'm alive. Um, for those of you that don't know, this video is basically to uh, talk about a little episode that happened to me over the weekend. Um, I, um, how do I start? Where do I start? I'll tell you what, uh, I wanted to start by saying there's a song that I absolutely love. It's uh, Damien Marley and Nas, and uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. And I'll tell you, I absolutely love it. I can't remember the name of it. But basically, it's going on about, uh, you know, it's just talking about good things that you should be grateful for. And, um, yeah, it's called, I think it's called Count Your Blessings, actually. And uh, Damien Marley has this li lyric in it that he goes, uh, uh, you know, all the things he's grateful for, and he goes, oh, I've got new health insurance, I count my blessings. And, you know, if I was in Britain, I probably would have listened to that and thought, what's so big about that? You know, what's the big deal? But in the US, yes, health insurance is everything. Um, thankfully, I have health insurance, and uh, I'm so grateful I do, because I had an episode this weekend which uh, could quite easily have run me into uh, a few thousand dollars. Um, right, what happened was, um, I went out, it was a Saturday night, I'm still new here in Fort Worth, so I don't really know anyone, uh, I've got a couple of mates that I'm making at work, and plus there's uh, you know a friend that I moved down here to, uh, uh, that I also know, but really, it's still a very... Uh, quiet town to me so um, <clears throat> excuse me so I went out I decided right what I was going to do is go to a restaurant on my own enjoy my my own company enjoy a nice meal and then go out to a movie and um, you know and then head back home you know so I thought that's a reasonable night for uh, for a reasonably new person in Fort Worth Texas and so um, uh, I went out went to the restaurant and uh, had like a, a that, that little be piece of beef swallowed it and um, that caused the uh, caused my blood pressure to suddenly crash it went down to 74 over 68 and um, when, when it crashed down like that that's that in in turn actually uh, um, got me to a state where um, I, I almost passed out I was like sweating I, I was like you know keeled over at the table where I was eating and the restaurant owner and the people in the restaurant they called an ambulance and rushed off to hospital and only to find that uh, both the force that I'd used to swallow the food and the fact that I'd cut down on my water intake drastically over the last uh, few days because my new job um, had caused me to be uh, dehydrated and hence uh, the episode. So they, you know, they got a drip in me, they did an EKG just to make sure my heart was fine, uh, they did a, a scan on my brain and all kinds of other stuff just to make sure that I was okay. And uh, everything came back fine, so I'm like, yes, I'm happy. Um, however, um, you know, I'm sort of like doing this video just to let, let people know, like, the best thing to do is to go, go online. You can uh, go online or obviously consult your physician and uh, try and find out what the, the best water intake is for your body type. There's a popular misconception that, you know, everyone should do six to eight bottles a day or you know, 10 glasses a day or whatever the case may be, but it's really about your body type. It's about you, um, how big you are, about, you know, your your uh, body fat ratio and everything else. Um, so what might work for me at 5, you know, 5'10", five, 5'11", five, may not work for a young lady who's 5'2", you know. What might work for me at 190 pounds may not work for someone who's uh, 250 pounds, you know. So it's all uh, it's all relative to your own body. So um, if uh, if this episode didn't teach me anything, it taught me to uh, definitely stay disciplined on my water intake. Um, part of the reason why I slipped up, it's not you know pure laziness on my part. It's also the fact that I started a day job, um, and at this day job, because I'm on the phones, they really want us to uh, cut down on the number of times we go to the bathroom. So. Um, it's a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of a headache, you know, I, I thought I was cutting down to be responsible at my day job, but at the same time, though, uh, what's the point of cutting down and then having, you know, uh, episodes like that at work where I'd be off the phones for, you know, at least a few hours, you know, so, um, you know, the, the whole thing I went through, I think um, it taught me, taught me a lesson, definitely taught me a lesson uh, that I definitely need to take care of myself definitely need to stay up on my water, water intake and uh, and you know I hope you guys do the same thing 
Uh, good news is that I'm back to back fighting fit. You know, also good news I didn't have to pay for the meal. Yes, <laughs> result. Uh, also, um, uh, uh, you know, I'm giving myself like a week off. I'm not going to do anything this week. Just taking it nice and easy. And then next week I will get back to uh, running again. You know, uh, water intake is going to be nice and high. You know, drink drinking lots of decent fluids and eating decent food and. Hopefully I'll be fighting fit and ready ready for my first race. I will be coming back with the, with another video, like letting you guys know what I'm really up to and uh, when, I, when I'm doing it and everything else. But thanks for your support. Thanks to everyone who reached out to me on Facebook. Uh, this is extra especially for my goddaughter because when she saw it, she was uh, rather upset. So this is for you, Tolani. I love you lots and I'll see you soon, okay? Take care and I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Bye.